Hello YouTube, in this video we are going to look at new Big 3 Tech product. It is SB2240, it's a CAN model for stove burner tool head. Let's open the box and see what inside. Um, we have a board, we have connectors, rubber duck, and we have a harness to mount this over the tool head. I hope this cable actually exactly the same as Mellow SB2040. This product is direct competitor. I just demounted this board from my uh, 3D printer and want to make sure that I can use exactly the same harness that I already have pre-installed. And looks like I can without any problems. This is SB2040 by, by Mellow and we are going to compare those two boards. Perfect that you have a uh, cable. You can just use it as this right away, which is really cool. And um, you don't need extra stuff to be uh, included. This product was sent to me by Big Tritage, and I hope it's not going to affect my uh, opinion about this product. And uh, let's open the box and see what's actually inside. <clears throat> Out here we have a board itself that be mounted on a tool head. It is significantly bigger than SB2040. And we have board that you place on a tool head. It's also significantly bigger in size. And the connector is different. It is a very impressive small board. And one of the things I have noticed Right away, the connectors are significantly smaller than the connectors of SB2040. And I hope it's not going to be a problem because I have uh, very thick wires that go to the, to the tool head and switches and stuff like that. And um, this board has few advantages over SB2040. One of them, um, it has octocoupler, so you can connect your inductive probe directly and it's uh, very convenient because uh, with SB2040 I had to switch my printer to use Clippy probe and that was um, a bit extra work I didn't expect I wanted to take. Another thing, this one has BL touch connector and to be honest I would prefer to have bigger connectors than BL touch connector. Not sure how many people actually run BL touch with cell burner tool head and uh, maybe I don't know something and those boards are actually used in other printers but for me BL touch connector is kind of useless. We also have ADXL sensor for input shaper. Those boards are actually have very similar components. Next we have all connectors. You don't have to spend time researching what kind of connectors you need. We have heatsink probably for the driver. The main reason why I will replace is B2040 uh, with this board because it is overheating. It is overheating dramatically and it's a huge problem. Everyone knows about this problem. I do not recommend to buy this product at this point. It's B2040 plate soldered on. And this one actually have connectors, which is also a bit better solution. I like it more. And so I will have to desolder everything and uh, mount the plate out here. It's going to be this way. Okay, I have finished uh, crimping all the wires. It looks very nice at this point. So I was working on actual fitting the new board and what I had to do, I had to make a cut over here and use my uh, soldering iron plus the exacto knife and I made a little cut here. I think someone actually not as lazy as me will redesign this part to fit it and uh, maybe I will do it later. And this how tool head will look assembled. I need to crimp wires. You can see that USB-C port cut and um, not sure if it's like super straight. I'm trying to do my best here and um, I don't think this bracket 
had to be used to this, but it's actually perfect. You can just modify it and feel it here. I used the uh, SB24's power and the gun wires. I don't need to rerun the wires completely from scratch. The only piece I have left to do is crimp the wires. And none of the wires in my 3D printer actually have such a thin uh, dimension, so I could crimp those tiny, tiny connectors. We want to use those guys, or at least something that will give us opportunity to use such a thick wires. And now I just have to crimp two wires. I also installed two bridges over here for two of the fans running 24 volts. So I just finished installing this board and I had to use very thin wires in order to make X switch clicky prop and the thermistor to work. I pulled those out of my um, USB mouse. Those are corded. The huge problem with this board is the size of the connectors. You can see compared to SB2040, cables that came with the printer are not gonna work because you just can't crimp them. You have to use something thinner. Good thing that they include connectors and you just need to crimp them. Also, I have not used built-in driver uh, because I already have from previous build the cable for the motor going through because this board overheating and I uh, didn't want to use the driver. On this board, I don't really care about the driver. It has actually a SPI driver, but that's the different story. Uh, so regarding the thermistor, there is a problem here. Little design flow that those wires are hitting directly the wall of the uh, clockworks. They have to just a little bit jam it there. And um, if you have PT100, you just connect it here, uh, right nearby and configure it with those uh, little switches. I think guys will uh, redesign that and I hope they're gonna put bigger connectors because those are kind of feels flimsy and um, we'll see how it's going to work. And now you can see the, the difference between the boards. Uh, one thing also, it covers the gear for the extruder, but I never cared about it. Now you can easily use standard Clockworks self burner cover and fits here very nicely. So you don't need to print extra piece, extra part or anything else. With this board, you just can't use it. So the next step will be to flash the board. And I think it's pretty much the same as the SB2040. I'm not going to show it. You can find it in the instruction. I'll see you when this guy is going to print. I have flashed the board. It wasn't actually super difficult. Is the USB C cable, plug it in, put the bridge on the board to power uh, via USB, compile the firmware from Raspberry Pi, and um, just following the instruction. Instruction is amazing. There's like all the pins pinned out, how to build the firmware. Amazing. I'm very impressed with the documentation. Um, just connected via cable to the computer. Now I'm processing a PID calibration. The main difference in terms of fans is B2040 has uh, separate fans that always on or that have uh, digital ground. In this case, you just have fans connected and it ha works with a control. In terms of um, the way it works so far, it's very nice. Also, one of the things I see right away is the temperature of the board, only 29 degrees. Uh, Celsius. We're gonna print, we'll see how it will behave, but it is impressive. So I hope that main problem of this bit 2040 will be solved. Just finished calibration after installing EBB SB2240, and now it's the first print. I'm usually printing that square just to see how first two layers are going to be. Um, I've been adjusting a lot the tool head and um, I need to make sure that the offset is properly set. So far so good. Now I have finished the build and I've been using printer for a few days and the initial frustration regarding the connectors kind of went away because everything seems to be working perfectly fine. 
definitely this board is over-engineered. There are a lot of features in there that probably half of them I will never use. And maybe that's the reason why I think it's uh, better to have solid features than all the features in the world. Uh, then other way to say, I don't know if you need this product. I like it. I use my umbrical. I, I like the setup. If you like it, take a look at this board and it's like $25. I don't think it's a critical price. Again, you pick yourself. For me, it is definitely better than Melo SB2040 because again, my SB2040 is overheating dramatically and I'm not the only person in the world that have this issue. Some people have this board burning and I don't really want it in my printer. So that's it. Like this video or dislike it, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll see you at the next one. Thank you.